Do you know how AI agents can work as entire legal department and how AI agents can spot contract risks precisely? So in this video, I'm explaining you all of this. Hi guys, welcome to Freebird's View and let's create our fourth AI agent that will build a full legal department with lawyer, strategy builders, contract analyst and risk assessment analyst as well. And this will do everything for you as a law firm will do for you as well. So here's a short demo project. As you see, it has all the legal departments available that will do the work for you as well as the custom prompt option in which you can ask questions about the law and your documents as well. So let's build this project. First of all, you can get all the prerequisites required for this project and yes, you have to learn and listen them carefully. First, you need to know about the AI agents. What are they, how they work and what are the agentic design patterns. You have to watch my these two videos to get yourself familiar with AI agent workflows and their designs. After all this is done, let's create our fourth AI agent that will work as a law firm for you. So guys, here is our project code that we have. We need to first import all the necessary libraries here. And first we need the Agno that is used to build our AI agents. And then we need the Gemini AI agents as well, like the Gemini uh, uh, Flash large language models. And then we need the Gemini Embedder as well because we need to embed our data because we are here working with the PDF documents as well. If we are working with PDF documents, we need the Chroma DB as well to save those PDF documents as in the vector database. Okay, so after all this kind of importing of libraries, we start building our AI agents. So first we need to initialize our vector DB here, then the knowledge base and then the process files variable here. And then we have to build our sidebar that will accept our API key. Okay, and then after accepting the API key, it will go to the chunk size and the overlap as well that you can set from the UI okay and then you can upload a PDF document as well so when the PDF document is uploaded this document can be any legal document you have okay after up uploading it it will create a temporary file and after creating that temporary file it will go to our PDF knowledge base and can goes into your vector DB by using the PDF reader function as well. This whole function is also a agentic function as well that will work for you to do the document uh, chunking, parsing, and then to load that document into the vector DB. Okay, with the help of the chunk size and the overlap size as well. Okay, and after that, we need to do the load and create because when you run this application, it will automatically load and it will automatically create a knowledge base for your AI agent as well. Okay, you need to add your uploaded file here as we already added. Okay, after this thing will done, then we need to initialize our AI agent. So in this, we have the whole legal department. The first is the legal researcher agent. It, the model is the Gemini Flash model. We are uh, giving him the instructions as well with DuckDuckGo access to search on the web as well. Okay. And uh, then we have the contract analyst agent is also here. The legal strategist agent is also here along with the team lead agent. Okay. All these agents works together to analyze your legal documents and give you the recommendations, the key points and all the analysis required for your legal document as well. Okay, it can extract all the data, it can can use the knowledge base as well, it, it can provide the actionable recommendation along with the compliance issues as well. It can do multiple things that a legal form can do for your documents as well. Okay, after getting that, run all these legal agents all at once and can our team lead agent will summarize the results into a final report. Okay, so when you have the knowledge base you have this kind of a section box okay as you see here it has the this all the boxes are here when you upload this kind of document here it will show you a section box here that section box will have these kind of options you can choose you want to do the contract review you want to go for legal research assessment compliance check or you have a custom query on based of that this analysis will work and this code will work against in the follow okay so that's how this whole thing will work and it will uh, divide all the like, code, all your response into three sections. The first is the detailed analysis, then the key point summary and then the recommendation. So let's see how this app will work in the real time. Okay, the first we need the API key. I just import our API key that is saved here. 
and pass it right down here. Okay. After that, we decide a chunk size. That chunk size will be two thousand, and overlap will be four hundred. Okay. And then we need to upload the document. I have this uh, rent agreement here. I just upload it here. Okay. So the document is processed and stored in our knowledge base, and we have these options to do our work. Let's do for the risk assessment here, and we want to analyze this uploaded document as well. This this is my uh, rent agreement. On the base of that, it will try to give us the all the kind of things that I need to be taken care of, all the things that I need to be checked and the recommendations as well. Okay guys, so response is here. We have the detailed analysis about all the key terms and the obligations are here, potential legal risks are here, along with the The termination and the usage cost is there along with the resident obligations, the data risk along with the strategic rec uh, recommendations there as well. And also the next section about the key points that I should need to be taken care of and also the recommendation as well. Okay, so that's how this thing will work and it will give us a really good recommendations because all these things need to be taken care on the page numbers with the clause and everything is right down here. Okay, so that's how your his legal analysis will work. And if you really like this project as well, I will upload the code on my GitHub profile. You can just go down uh, Simranji97. And on that, you can see this kind of uh, repository there, Agentic AI course. In that Agentic AI course, I upload this uh, folder there in which I have this kind of project as well. Okay, guys, and uh, I hope you really like this uh, project. And in our next video, we'll talk about the AI agent for the medical imaging analyst that can analyze ultrasounds, uh, x-rays, MRI scans, CT scans and can find the flaws in it that can be so small that it can be uh, not detected by the human eye but the AI can. Okay, so just be with it and if you want to know about the generative AI prompt generating data science and machine learning, you can watch my videos on YouTube, also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank guys. Thank you so much.